Thanks for tuning in for another Essential RC flight test and another one of these products where I really enjoy reviewing these because you get everything that you need in the box to get flying less the uh, AA batteries for the transmitter and this is no exception. So this is the S720 uh, from our new friends at OMP Hobby. This is the first plane that they've sent us. So uh, this is a sport type plane. Um, comes with everything in the box, you know, including the model itself, obviously, plus the battery for it and the recharger for that battery and the transmitter. You're just going to need to put double A's in the transmitter. But it's a sport type plane, but it's kind of suitable for beginners as well. Not absolute beginners, you have to have a little bit of experience to fly this, but it has a normal and a sport mode. And the normal mode, I think, is going to be restricted to the way you can fly. And the sport mode is totally unlimited, will allow you to do aerobatics. We're going to explore that a little bit more. Also, it has a trick button on the transmitter, so you can perform a trick, apparently. But uh, important thing about this, it's very rapid assembly, just clicks together, no glue required. It will literally take seconds to put together. So here it is on the table. These are all the components. And um, so here's the fuselage. Uh, really simple, because all of the... Uh, all of the electronics are inside this fuselage. So you can see, for example, for the ailerons that are on the wing, uh, we've got the mechanical connection for that there, and the servo is inside the fuselage. If I take the canopy off, you can see the JSD connector for the provided uh, chunky battery that they give you, and you've got the USB, the USB charger as well so you just plug that into your uh, laptop or into a usb uh, connector into the, your mains power supply and it will take about three quarters an hour to charge up then you've got the wings which are very light foam and the, the whole model is made of foam so it's going to be very durable if you should happen to uh, arrive at in at the ground unexpectedly and uh, you've got the horizontal stabilizers with the elevators. You've got two couple of propellers, main landing gear and the spinner to put on the front of the propeller. And you've got the transmitter as well. So on off switch, two sticks and the normal and sport modes and that, that trick button. No idea what it does, but we're gonna try that out. So it comes with very comprehensive instructions as to how to Assemble it really nice. I've read through through those uh, and directions even how on how to fly if you've never done that before. But give me a few seconds now, and I'm going to rapidly put this together. So here we go. We're down the flying field. Put it all together. It literally took seconds to put together because the wings, the horizontal stabilizers, just click into place. Uh, push in the landing gear. Uh, you just need a tiny screwdriver to uh, put the nut on the uh, into the um, spinner. I was lost for words there for a moment, um, but yeah, it looks looks good. So you can see I, I've I've got it switched on, so you can see the gyro in effect on the on the elevator. So it's in normal mode at the moment. So I suspect that's going to limit. Uh, the flight characteristics somewhat limit the ability to do aerobatics, which is no bad thing if you're a relative beginner. So we'll uh, we'll have some fun with it. It's not letting me turn too tightly, certainly won't let me fly inverted or roll or anything like that, which is good if you're a relative beginner. So that is literally hands off. It will fly itself. You just have to put in corrections really for where you want it to go. So if I put in a bit of rudder. It will fly around in circles forever. Now if I put it in sport mode. Now I've got full control now. 
And Dom, when you turn with it in uh, stabilised mode, is it losing altitude or is it no, holding itself? No, you know, if you've got enough, as long as you're using enough throttle, then it will, uh, it will stay in the air until the battery runs out. Nice. Quite impressed, actually. Compared to other models with gyro systems, the one in this is pretty good. So fully aerobatic now. And then back into normal mode and it's fully stabilised again. So you can see it's yeah. rock solid. Yeah. And it's quite windy as well today, isn't it? There's a bit of a breeze. And that was the trick button. Works nicely. That gyro is pretty impressive actually. So in normal mode, it really is doing so much to keep it in, keep it in the air. And I'm just using a bit of rudder to turn it around. Oh, Beautiful. That was good, wasn't it? <clears throat> so there you go. Quite impressed with that, that's the OMP S720. Perfect little plane, it's a, it's a little bit um, sensitive in the sport mode, that will take some getting used to, but I'm really impressed with the normal mode, normal mode where it you know, limits what you can do aerobatically, but in the wind, I'm just, just using that little bit of rudder to turn it around, it's still a lot of fun. So the link for this is in the video description and in the pinned comment. Uh, in the comments section so look it up for the price I think you'll be surprised um, if you want an all-in-one package say you wanted to buy someone a gift or for their birthday or Christmas or you want to try out radio controlled model flying for the first time with someone else I would advise there's no substitute for joining a model flying club um, that's affiliated with the BMFA or the DMFV in Germany maybe or something like that they can help you a lot but otherwise this is a fantastic plane for beginners so thanks very much for watching this one please subscribe for more essential rc reviews and show coverage and stuff like that and uh, we'll see you again in the near future thanks to jason on camera cheers no buddy. cheers see you next time Beautiful. That was good, wasn't it?